Hi friends, I'm Phantom Q, and welcome to a little reading I decided to do, because I am tired of people saying, Oh, you'll have to read fan fiction to be popular on YouTube. Well, I don't think you can read just fan fiction. I think I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to read The History of the Artichoke. You weren't expecting that, were you? Uh-uh, I don't think so. So, let's begin. The Globe Artichoke, Sonora Scolimis, also called the French Artichoke, and Green Artichoke, derives its common name from northern Italian words Artichoco and Artocolos. This latter term is supposed to be from the Ligurian word Cocali, meaning a pine cone. The artichoke is a perennial in the thistle group of the sunflower family, and is believed to be a native of the Mediterranean and the Canary Islands. In full growth, the plant spreads to cover an area of about six feet in diameter and reaches a height of three to four feet. The vegetable that we eat is actually the plant's flower bud. If allowed to flower, the blossoms measure up to seven inches in diameter and are a beautiful violet-blue color. They are available 12 months a year, with the peak season in the spring and fall. There are more than 140 artichoke varieties, but less than 40 are grown commercially. Today, most artichokes grown worldwide are cultivated in France, Italy, Spain, while California provides nearly 100% of the United States crop. 100% of all artichokes grown commercially in the United States are grown in California. Artichoke fields are maintained in perennial culture for 5 to 10 years. Each cropping cycle is initiated by cutting back the tops of plants several inches below the soil surface to stimulate development of new shoots. This operation is called stumping. It is timed to regulate the new harvest season. Baby artichokes are not separate variety, but merely smaller versions of larger artichokes. Their size comes from their location on the artichoke plant. They are picked from the lower parts of the artichoke where the plant fronds protect them from the sun, in effect stunting their growth. According to Ergil legend and praised in song by the poet Quintus Flaccus, the first artichoke was a lovely young girl who lived on the island of Sinari. The god, Zeus, was visiting his brother, Poseidon, one day, when, as he emerged from the sea, he spied a beautiful young mortal woman. She did not seem frightened by the presence of a god, and Zeus seized the opportunity to seduce her. He was so pleased with the girl, whose name was Sonara, that he decided to make her a goddess, so that she could be nearer to his home on Olympia. Sonara agreed to the promotion, and Zeus anticipated the tryst to come whenever his wife Hera was away. However, Sinara soon missed her mother and grew homesick. She snuck back to the world of mortals for a brief visit. After she returned, Zeus discovered this ungoddess-like behavior. Enraged, he hurled her back to the earth and transformed her into the plant we know today as the Artichoka. Artichoka origins date back to the time of the Greek philosopher and naturalist Theophrastus, who wrote of them being grown in Italy and Sicily. But then he has a 1st century AD Greek physician of Enzeribus Silesky wrote about artichokes at the time of Christ while traveling as a surgeon with the Roman army of the Emperor Nero. He collected information on the remedies of the period and wrote a work on the Greek herbal of Dyskyrgyz, originally written in Greek. Dyskyrgyz herbal was later translated into Latin as Demetiria Medica. It remained the authority in medicinal plants for over 1,500 years. Ancient Greeks and Romans considered artichokes a delicacy and an aphrodisiac. In ancient Greece, the artichoke was attributed to being effective in securing the birth of boys. In 77 AD, the Roman naturalist Caius Pilenus, called Pliny the Elder, called the choke one of the Earth's monstrosities. Evidently, he and his colleagues continued to enjoy eating them. Wealthy Romans enjoyed the artichokes prepared in honey and vinegar, seasoned with cumin so that the treat would be available year-round. Beginning about 800 AD, North African Moors began cultivating artichokes in the area of Granada, Spain, and another Arab group, the Saracens, became identified with the chokes in Sicily. This may explain why the English word artichoke derived from the Arab al kashuf rather than from Latin sinar. Between 800 and 1500, it's probable that the artichoke was improved and transformed 
perhaps in monastery gardens, into the plant we would recognize today. Artichokes were first cultivated at Naples around the middle of the 15th century and gradually spread to other sections of Europe. After Rome fell, artichokes became scarce but re-emerged during the Renaissance in 1466 when the Strozzi family brought them from Florence to Naples. Thank you for watching. I'm not going to read the rest, but if you would like to, I'm going to post a link right here as an annotation, and I'll put it in the description below. So yeah, thank you for watching if you enjoyed learning about artichokes and their amazing history involving Zeus and and many other things. Please be sure to hit like and subscribe, and tell me what fruit and or vegetable, if any, you would like me to read next. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.